turning in place like no one's business. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Mission 6 has started! Let's go find that senior citizen, baby! Yeah! Okay, that doesn't sound really all that exciting. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So I guess we could little have a little romp through the forest together. Sounds delightful. Yes, yes. I bet if that other guy at the village said, I mean, if we, if he's seen us, he think it's another date or something like that, or just tease us that it's another date. But who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Is it? Is it? Oh, what the? Uh, no, I haven't. We just first got back through here. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like we've got like a sub-mission going on here. Interesting. Interesting. This is turning into a more interesting task than a uh, senior citizen retrieval. Because <laughs> there's a couple of Pokemon involved too, maybe, maybe. <laughs> hmm. Alright, let's see here. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have that sort of backstory. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the deepest, darkest part of the forest, which is... Remember there was a ranger here blocking the entrance? Yeah, um... Now, because... Yeah, it's supposedly a rather mazy place, but it's actually pretty easy to get through. <laughs> So yes, we can now go into the supposed much more dangerous place. And hello, that sounded like a yeah. Hey, Jigglypuff, one of two. Let's go, go, go. You got anything else to say? Um, uh, yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. Yup, yup. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing there. <laughs> Um, secret down here, maybe, maybe, oh, there's a mudkip, maybe, maybe, okay, there absolutely is, we see that. Is there a secret down here all the way, maybe, perhaps, Marsh Tom, I would love to catch you, I've never caught you before, oh jeez, you got some mud, that will hurt my styler, ah, for some reason, dang you and your mud. Ah. Mm, dang you, and the mud, I need to circle faster, there we go. <laughs> Success! Oh yeah! Dang that mud! <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing else here, I do believe, besides that marsh out to catch for the browser, so... Still worth going over to that quote-unquote dead end, because the dead end has something good. Alright, now for the upper area here, which I guess is... Supposedly, with a labyrinth kind of sort of starts, even though it's not that difficult. <laughs> hmm. Oh, poopers! So, I guess the other Jigglypuff wanted to get help or something, maybe? Might be? Oh, that's a good. Yeah, could you do some babysitting here? Thank you very much. I'll be able to find that Jigglypuff without any issue. Probably. <laughs> Alright, you guys play some checkers or something like that to lie while I go flutter around the forest and eh, 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 Yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to manage save point there of course if you'd like to so yeah You can tell there's multiple paths And I think I'm just gonna go and flop around this way. Maybe maybe there's a boulder to break down there if you should have a one smashy smashy Pokemon. We did not get a Cyndaquil before, as I thought, that's why I clicked on it just to be sure. So let's get that Cyndaquil! Oh! Oh! There we go! I said, let's get that Cyndaquil, and I meant, let's get that Cyndaquil! Heck yeah! So it's got the power of fire, of course. <laughs> Ivysaur has the power of vines, yeah. I don't remember if there's something that I could use, use the vines across, but I'm just gonna grab it just because I see it, because it's a handy Pokemon to have in case there is something like that there, so, yep, just thinking of the future. Heck yeah. Alright, now, huh, look at that, there's the Jigglypuff I found it without any issue whatsoever. Man, that's some maze, huh? <laughs> So yeah, you gotta wait for the right opportunity for the Jigglypuff, like about here, there we go. See how I did the circling while moving along with it? 
that is key. That is key. <laughs> and that is done. Um, um, I wonder if there's anything that I can get if I headbutt stuff. Get it, headbutt stuff, but you know, it's really more like a tackle slash rock smash type thing. But anyway, I want to explore the rest of the stuff that we have in the scene, which isn't very much in this quote-unquote labyrinth. This pan fig I didn't get before, did I? Oh, I got Pichu in with it, but that is okay. Uh, Pichu only takes two, right? No, wait, it takes one. Yeah. And, wow, that was easy. <laughs> Woo! Victory! And I will have to switch stuff out. Yeah. Um, um, um. Eh, 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 uh, uh. They're all, like, of different types, and I absolutely can't release that one. <laughs> How about, how about you? Because I don't believe there's anything that I need to burn with fire in this area, if I recall correctly. So yes. Uh, got that. And now this leads back over to the water that I passed through. So again, if you go back down there, it leads back to the start. Heck of a labyrinth. <laughs> and back down over here is something we kind of haven't seen before either. Just sort of kind of a dead end. Oh no, such... Such difficulty getting around here. <laughs> and look at that, we're back. <laughs> very, very easy. But there's still a certain senior citizen we're looking for, so this isn't over yet. Woo! Oh yeah! Now, if you could, escort them back to said daddy, and yeah, that, that's a good idea. Because I still... Oh! Oh, thank you for the hints! Hmm. Uh, well, that's kind of rude. Uh, oh, so it was what he did. Oh. Hmm. Well, we gotta help him anyway, so he might be ornery, but we still gotta help him. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Alright, so. That is done, but we're not done. We've got other stuff to see here. Like, say, uh, say this here. Oh, wait, that, that isn't the right smashy smash. Yeah, I, yeah, whoops, I guess I can do that now. The right Pokemon is not in the area. We've seen all the Pokemon in the area. So, alas, alas, we've got to go. <laughs> we got to leave that for later. Now, up over here is another wing of the forest. Yeah, down this way here. So this little let us give thanks to the spirit and life that fills the forests. I wonder what that could be referring to. I wonder. I wonder. Oh, is that so? Uh oh, I see. Oh, that's not too good. <laughs> so now Weeping Bell seem to be our greatest adversaries incoming. So if we get caught by one, um, well, there's some tail off, but let, I'll, I'll show you, oof, I'll show you what happens if I get caught by one. I got you. Didn't I catch a spin rack before? I could have swore I did. But, let's just see here for kicks. I'm almost positive that I did before. If I didn't, a browser entry will appear up on the top screen. I caught one before, okay. As I expected. Uh, it's just so hard to memorize what I caught in various playthroughs, but yeah, here's a weeping bell. If it catches you, right back to the start you go. So, this has the potential of being really annoying, but it's not really that difficult. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, the easiest way to go about it is actually to capture the Weeping Bell as you go, as their backs are turned, and, and then just release them, because then they'll, you know, they'll be pooped out of the area until you reset the thing. And you gotta catch Weeping Bell anyway. So, because, you know, for your browser, so why not? Why not? <laughs> so, there we go. Um, uh, is this a poison assist? Yeah, I don't need that. I already showed poison before. So, yes. Uh, as for headbutting, this tree looks sort of suspicious. Let's see what we can do with a little tackling power. Maybe something good will drop out of it. Oh, yes, I do remember this one. Oh, yes, that's why I headbutted that tree specifically. See, uh, that's an Incada, and uh, it's a very difficult one to catch. You only need to loop it once, 
but, uh, you know, I, I'd like you to come back in the area, please. They, oh, that other one respawn. interesting. But yeah, I would like to catch that bad boy, eventually. Hello? Hi! Yeah, um, maybe I shouldn't have let you do that. <laughs> you know what? Bring me back to the start. I gotta get another pan fee and try and get that thing when it pops out of the tree immediately! So yes, I very specifically remember that tree because I remember Ninkata being a very difficult Pokemon to catch without any sort of Poke Assists because it is really fast and flies all around the place, including off screen. So I'm gonna get over here and prepare my body. <laughs> there, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get that bad boy. Uh, 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 no, 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 you know, not this time. Not this time. So, Ninja House, watch this thing go. Whoa! I just need to do one circle. Just one circle. Ah! <laughs> just one circle and it would be captured. As, uh, as you can tell, it's very, very difficult to get even a single circle on this thing. Oh, yeah! I stunned it with, <laughs> with my styler and then I did a quick circle around it. That is one way of doing it. Level up, yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah! So we got a flying Poke Assist too, and I'm gonna avoid the Weeping Bell. Hopefully, okay. I just want to take a peek up here. I believe this is a dead. No wait, the down, the, the lower area is a dead end. I think. But I just want to sort of kind of oh swallow. That's what's down here. I would like to catch you for sure, yes, yes, but uh, I would just wanted to show every corner of this place. Uh... Ah! Man, you're fast. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Woo! I am so glad I'm getting the hang of emulator, emulator circling. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I gotta reorganize the party. Um, how about, how about, uh, uh, how about you? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, as I was saying, I do believe... Oh, Pikachu, hello. <laughs> this is a dead end. But I will capture everything that is in said dead end. Oh, you're, you're pretty quick. I gotta admit that. <laughs> ah. The thing is that I gotta be circling in the direction that it's going, so yeah, it's kind of hard to predict. Just gotta kind of hope. Uh, uh, I'll drop Pichu. It doesn't have quite as much charging power as said Pikachu. See that? See that? Yeah. So I think it's wisest to do that if I gotta reorganize my party. Uh, I don't... Mm, uh, there might be something in that tree, but I don't remember offhand. I'm gonna have to come through the forest again anyway, so I don't really feel like going back and forth for Pampies. Uh, uh oh. Did, I, did you just start a battle with me? While I was... You did. While I was reading the sign. You... Stinker. You... Stinker. Um... Go and sneak around that way. Oh shoot, that's actually a problem. <laughs> I got two here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Um, 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 I'm just trying to remember where are all the dead ends and whatnot. Uh, this was, yeah, this was the dead end, and then the other one is the path forward. And the path forward gets pretty linear, actually. Because <laughs> uh, there is, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, there's this one branch here, that, that, that. Oh no, you don't. Uh, more stuff to heal, basically. And I already got all these Pokemon, so back we go! And, 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 and another split path. Weeping Bell. I will do this. <laughs> I'm being very strategic, as you can tell. And needless to say, we, don't, we weren't really given the ability to cut any sort of bushes in the area, including on the route over to Kraka Cave. So. Yes, it's it's those sorts of bushes. They just they just keep tempting us with being able to go through, but no, we still can't really go through those things. <laughs> it's just very interesting how they set up the game. And all right, save point here. Uh, eh, eh, I'll continue. 
Hey, are you the guy I'm looking for? Uh, maybe. You do seem kind of grumpy. <laughs> Legendary Pokemon? Hmm. Uh, maybe some sort of researcher. No, mm -hmm. uh, what? I'm, I'm just looking for, yeah, someone. Oh, you are the one I'm, I'm looking for. Okay, uh, that's rude. Uh, you're like Aria. And that's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, your company is gonna be lovely, won't it? Hmm. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I will. I guess I'll have to. And now, remember the whole fire thing? Yeah, now that we got a fire Pokemon with double with a double fire, um, we can't actually use it on things that have double fire. Oh! Nice little heat wave there. <laughs> that is okay. But I, yeah, because of that ledge, we're now locked into the area, so we can't actually use the powers of fire at other places. <laughs> As I said, it's kind of interesting how they set this up. Hmm. Yes, it is. That is true. Uh-huh. You must know a lot about us rangers. You a fan? Well, maybe not that much of a fan of rookies, but... Uh, that is... Yeah, that's kind of deep, but... Let's let's move on here. But we need, we need this Quilava here. So what I'm gonna do is 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 I guess I'll release the Pikachu. I'm not too concerned about my health and whatnot. As a matter of fact, I should be trying to build up my Poke Assist. I mean, uh, use my Poke Assist up. Oh, hey, Murkrow, how's it going? Uh, that's a mocking. I don't know. It just sounds like the cry of the Murkrow. Ah! Uh, oh man! <laughs> This is the most epic rant of all time! With full of insults and oh jeez! Causing earthquakes and everything to just blow up and wow! Whew. That was powerful! <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have Tums or something like that. Anyway, I need my fiery friend here. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Burn it away. Yes. Before we use the Combuskin to do this sort of thing, but now we've got a Kulava! Woo! Thank you! Thank you! Uh, I, I guess you could put it that way. <laughs> anyway, going up. And now we got sort of kind of something. Yeah, uh, this is... I, I definitely want to catch a Beedrill for one thing, but... Oh, uh, well. Uh, this isn't exactly what I wanted to catch, but anyway, I should demonstrate some Poke Assist now that I'm here anyway. So yeah, you gotta fling, uh, fling some stuff and yeah, I never really showed that before, did I? Because yeah, I, I flung I flung stuff around, but I never actually showed the animation of something getting hit by the bug. Oh! Poopy drill. Poopy drill, you just had to interrupt me, didn't you? And these critters are fast, so ah, they don't take many loops. But they get in your way, and it's almost impossible to avoid getting into some sort of encounter. Over here, somewhere, maybe, uh, they're on that side. Oh, they see me! Oh! See, they see how fast they are? You can't really run from them if they see you. That is okay, though. So, about other Poke Assists, how will we go for a flying Poke Assist? Yes, yes, yes. So, if we start circling stuff, I figured I would use it on this, because, you know, Flying beats bugs and uh, Pokemon typings and whatnot, and yeah, it just immobilizes it, similar to a psychic Pokemon. Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> and there we go. Um, 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 um. Hop up. You are new. So we battle. Well, capture. So this has got a floaty jump, similar to the Jigglypuff, and thus it might take me a couple of tries, especially if it goes off the screen like that. Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> eh, oh, no, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Woo. It's not a very threatening Pokemon or anything like that, but it's just a thing of that it can be tricky and time consuming to catch. Yes, I would. I do not need <laughs> any more B drills. Uh, did I catch? Yeah, I caught you on uh, with a Go Rock Squad peep. Uh, I do believe I'm going to be able to get something that can cut that over there. 
but not the thing back in the other area because of the separation line of that ledge. So yeah, I think there's a Paris hanging around here somewhere. Oh no, he's gonna rant again, isn't he? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess it did. But yeah, isn't there a uh, Paris or something around these parts? I thought maybe, but anyway. Labyrinth Grove, the scenery is confusingly similar. There are other signs like this too. Really now? Really now? So what if I were to say, take one route here and... Ah, uh, you are the one. It's not... Oops, it's not a Paris. It's a... Um, it's the power of... Ninkata. Oh, did I call the other Pokemon that was... Uh, Ninjask? Ninkata? I might have. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are cuts. When they're underground, you can't capture them. Oh. They're similar to ah, a hardening Pokemon. Ah, there we go. Heck yeah. Woo! 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 So, let's reorganize again. I'll drop you and I'll drop you. Because all you need is one cutting Pokemon. So back we go to the bush to cut and see what's beyond the bush. I do believe it's a Venusaur, if I recall correctly. Uh, 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 there we go. So let's go in and see if we can get ourselves a rather ginormous Pokemon for the screen size. Is it? Is it? Is it? it is! A Venusaur in a grove. And this sucker has got some power on it. It makes those things and they take... they give it a lot of damage. And... The idea is to circle it when it's on top of one of those things, if at all possible. Just like what I did there. But if it's not there, yeah, the giant vines get in the way, and there's Spiky. Oh, yes. Wait, do you not have any sort of power? That's... well, besides grass, it seems ridiculous. <laughs> Couldn't you vine whip me across something, or... I don't know, it sure seems like you could vine whip me across something. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, about Labyrinth Grove here, if we were to say, do that in the next part, would you mind? Would you mind? I hope not, because I'm going to end off the part here because I'm reaching 25 minutes soon. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then. Oh yeah, Labyrinth Grove, incoming tomorrow.